up interwebs welcome back to the glories of vanilla minecraft you will see here we have no mods on the go and i'm feeling a little bit naked without them but anyway here we are on the bnb server uh one of my lo longest term playing servers like literally been playing this one since oh, i don't know beta 1.3 something like that and as the netherrack says we are at spawn um this over here is my area, and we will get to what's going on over there first. But first, I uh, thought we'd... Uh, no, we won't get, uh, get on to what's over there first. We'll get on to what's over there last. But first, I thought I'd show us what's going on uh, in the rest of the, 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 the little spawn area. Um, who's living around me and what we've got going on. So over here in this um, rather quaint little farmstead, we have uh, our newest member, Lustria. Um... A personal friend of mine from the real world and someone who seems to enjoy burning his house down with lava quite a lot. He does do this fairly often. There was a, a relatively impressive sort of home and, and workshop here. And um, now there's a pile of lava and a big hole where there used to be stuff. Uh, over here we have Isles and Lego Slab. Um, the boys have very nicely made an iron trench for us over there. That is absolutely amazing. Um, I'm never going mining again. <laughs> and <coughs> they uh, generally have made quite a nice place. Uh, doors are locked, so can't really go exploring. Um, and up here we have all the other stuff. Oh, and of course, Harley. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll finish Isles and Legos. Um, they have uh, chickens and sheep. Ooh, sheep. I haven't got any sheep. Well, I'll come and steal some sheep at some point and breed them up. Um, and then over here we have Harley's little hovel in the background. Um, and I'm sure we'll get Harley on at some point and find out what's going on and all that. But first, <coughs> first, but finally, let's get round to mine. I've got an obsession with first today. Oh, and here is Lustria. Um, I should do little hellos hellos all I'm recording all right so first thing I built here was a nether portal because one of the first, one of the things that almost always happens here is someone builds themselves um, a, a nether portal in their basement it normally turns out and then someone else will build a, a, a nether portal and then they'll go in and then they'll come out in someone's in someone's basement and they're like oh I'm behind locked doors all I can do is break my way out uh, and that's rubbish so I thought I'd build this um, you know standard portal surrounded by some possibly overdone ornamentation um I, I was just trying to build some sort of archway that looked kind of all right i'm i'm not sure if the three materials is going too far um but the fire and the nether rack uh, nether brick and stuff like this I, th I think it looks all right it's passable right and some stained glass just because I'd not used any stained glass and I really, really wanted to see, well, first how to craft it and then what it looked like. So, there we go. That's that. Isn't that cool? Um, next thing I built was a little map map area. Um, I've used glowstone back there, which I think is backlighting it. I don't, don't, don't quote me on that. It might just be that light anyway. Um, but when I put in, put it in, it was nice and light. And I think it's got a nice little surround area um, and everyone can spot it. And I'm in the middle of making the pathway. <laughs> So we'll, um, yeah, I'll do something with that. And then over here we have a burn lodge. Um, I saw this design on Azuma Voids. Um, you know, it's just a load of hoppers in the back feeding in and hoppers up top feeding into the hoppers. Uh, the, my, the, the thing that I've done different is a little um, charcoal burner here. So if we go in here, because I don't have access, well I do have access to nether and buckets and everything like that, but I, I, just, I just couldn't be bothered to do the way he did it. So if anyone um, comes along and puts uh, logs in the top of here, uh, they get burnt into charcoal obviously, and then this little um, hopper tick thing uh, pushes the charcoal round. Now if the, if the, the charcoal backs up all the way through, um, as it will do eventually, well when, sorry, uh, this hopper will then activate four ticks, uh, sorry, eight ticks later. Um, it needs to be eight ticks so that the, the uh, charcoal can get past this particular dropper. Um, I wish I'd left a little bit more room so I could show you the front front face. Kind of like the charcoal goes from this bit into this hopper, across to this dropper and up. Now when this dropper gets backed up, this one will start to fill up, which will then put stuff into this dropper which will feed it along the water source which is the main thing and then um, 
This one is the other hopper on the other side, which all uh, normal fuel sources like coke, lava buckets, uh, bits of wood, if you must. Uh, things that can be burnt just straight off without being made into charcoal go in there. And then it all goes into this, um, this hopper with a dropper stack um, to put things up. Doink, doink. Um, and then if we go all the way up, it then pushes it into this water stream with hoppers then feeding into the back um, which should start being filled up Ooh, there's a bit of wood there we'll deal with that uh, yeah there we go plenty of wood and smelting to be done uh, oh and I made this kind of mistake where I've got to try and walk through to close this all right okay sweet so down here miss line's been very 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 busy um, making sure we've got food and stuff because obviously you know me guys I just kind of um, run around building useful things things that i'm like mm, yes the server could do with this like the map and the and the um nether fort uh, nether portal uh, that um so yeah she's been hard at work down here um first off both of us went off and collected as many trees as we could we're missing jungle saplings but we you know we've got spruce we've got the uh, the, the the new oak which is nice we couldn't find any podzole which is the the new uh, dirt out there, but yeah, we've got the acacia, we've got all the, the vanilla trees. No, wait, these are the vanilla trees as well. Uh, all the original vanilla trees, yep, that's a much better way of putting it. <laughs> and hey, Harley, uh, over here we have our storage room. Um, this is as far as I'm aware, temporary. Miss might contradict me here, but we've got our food, we've got our valuables, um, and then downstairs we've got all the sort of the building materials, coal and such forth. Right, now with all this being laid down as it is, um, I've had a few ideas for some farms. Like, this is a chicken farm. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad idea. What I see is some sort of... Now, on the last server, I made something called an infinite chicken machine. It was literally just a hopper with a clock, um, and every time the uh, chicken laid an egg, it fired it back, and then, you know, with the glories of exponential growth, every time a new chicken was added, it got faster, until eventually that I nearly broke the server um, and that led me to putting a piston on top now I've had a thought that um, if I can save the eggs up somewhere and use the comparators to uh, know when that chest is then full the one with the eggs we then kill the chickens and launch all the eggs back and we have our chicken stock <laughs> chicken stock we have our stock of chickens um, feeding in eggs and then when there's enough eggs it kills all the chickens harvested harvests the meat and the feathers and we get an infinite source of eggs so yeah i think that's going to be my next build i've been threatening to build it for a little while on this server and it's about time to start um we're at the end of the first weekend so yeah i think all in all the server's off to a great start yeah ah oh, ending this bit so, once again, my powers of procrastination have led me to not build the thing that I said I was going to build. But, I have good reason for it. So, I was working on this coast road, as, as I said I would, to uh, join up the map and stuff. And then I came down here, and it all got very awkward, and I started clearing bits off. So, I decided to um, get a bit of a sugarcane farm on the go. <clears throat> and if I can not just throw myself in this river, I'll show you what I've done here. So, first off, last night... Back here, I bred me a chicken, because, you know, you, you need chickens. And I've also made this strange device under here, where if I push this chicken, we'll see what it does. So he floats around in the water, and eventually he ends up triggering this little tripwire here, which sets all those off. Now, down he falls, and begins his epic journey back up. And whilst he's doing that, we'll wander around and have a look. So, at the back of these pistons, we've got torches so that I can set both off. Um, obviously, the torch powers the block, sets both pistons off. Wonderful. Uh, repeaters to power the torches. And then down here, this is where the tripwire comes in. Gets inverted so the torches can stay off, which is nice and easy. Uh, so, it then pushes all the sugarcane into the water, um, which then follows down, uh, if I run around quickly, into 
this hop here, then using this lovely little device that I, I've made, basically just it's a comparator that says yes, I've got something in, and whilst it's saying yes, this repeater will make it clock. So, uh, like if you put lots of items in a repeater without this clock, uh, into a hopper, sorry, without this clock, it'll turn on once and move one item, sorry, from the dropper it'll move one item, and then the rest of the stuff in the hopper will feed into the dispenser and it'll all just get backed up and nothing will move. So you need a clock to go, 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 go. Um, yeah, so that's, that's all cool. And now hopefully the chicken oh, isn't anywhere near because our, our sugar cane isn't anywhere near. I, this is the first time I've put the chicken in here. Obviously I've tested this design very brief, like a, a small scale design uh, to make sure the chicken doesn't die in this. Um, but at the moment, I can't see where he is. So we're, we're going to have a little wait. Uh, and when he comes up, we'll see. Oh no! When he comes up, we'll see how much the sugar cane has grown and whether I need to increase the, the size of the drop and stuff. Because obviously, there's, there's, that's only a certain distance there. But it takes so long for, for stuff to, to, to grow. Alright, yeah, so. Um, back when that that happens all right so my last chicken completely failed to materialize and the only thing I can guess is that he died so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shove this one in and <clears throat> we're gonna follow him and see where it is he dies um, now obviously he drops a lot slower than I do uh, this is why indeed I'm using chickens um, so we're gonna wait for him to get down and then we're gonna Drop down here, and then we're just going to very slowly follow this guy up and, and see what happens, where he where he could possibly die. Um, it may be a case that he... Now, I don't know of animals despawning. I'm pretty sure they don't. But I, I feel naming him might have uh, a, a beneficial effect. So if we make it all the way around... Uh -huh, uh -huh, is this an issue here? Is he going to drown at this point? Hmm, I'm not even sure how I'd go about stopping this. Yeah, look, he's going to drown there like that. Let's put the, the seed away, sorry. Um, yeah, alright, so that's that's where he dies. How do we stop that happening? Because a name, -tagged pers uh, name tag thing, chicken, would die there anyway. Hmm. This is a very... A very ponderous situation. Uh, I'm going to go ponder about it and I'll be back hopefully with a solution. Yeah. Okay, so I tried various solutions, half slabs using different mobs. Um, yeah, uh, and the best one that I found was actually using a slime. Um, as you can see, we've got we've actually got four coming up here at the moment. Um, so I can show you um, the random nature that is slimes in this particular device. Now, slimes take less time to fall down as chickens do, uh, than chi chickens do. Well, I spit your words out, Steve. Um, so that would kind of speed up the timing device. But if you notice, like that one didn't um, trigger the tripwire because obviously he's only one block high and slimes can't swim. But every now and then, one of them will get to the end and just make a jump at just the right time to trigger the tripwire like that oh oh that's a bit he's got stuck there we go right so i'm hoping that if there was just one uh slime this would actually be a uh a, a slower time if you see what i'm saying or it will emulate a longer clock um granted it's a bit random but then at the same time the growth patterns of uh sugar cane can be a bit random um, so yeah, there we go. That's my solution. Uh, I hope it works out fine. We're gonna let it run for a couple of cycles. I'm gonna kill three of these four slimes, and then hopefully, if uh, Mrs. Fishing over here goes well, hi, <laughs> uh, we should end up with a name tag because you can get it from treasure like that. So the wiki told us. So yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys, and we'll be back when I've done all this. Okay, so Miss has absolutely excelled herself and got us a name tag. So uh, we can go down and name young Charlesworth down here. Charlesworth, the timekeeping slime. Absolutely amazing. Uh, oh, it might be better to wait for him to come here. Okay, can we name him? Charlesworth, there we go. Yay. 
Now I've locked myself here without a way out. Hang about. Spawn. Okay, next up is trying to make it look pretty there. Because um, obviously it's still a bit bare dirt and glass. Um, like most of the glass I think I'm going to replace with stained glass, of course. I mean, we, we need something like that. Um, I'm not sure about all this edging here and this entire end wall needs changing. Uh, so yeah, not to mention also I need some sort of like um, maintenance door put in the side and possibly some sort of maintenance access down there. I'll probably just, uh, where, where it goes down back there, just go down a bit further and come up underneath. So yeah, I suppose I best go get some get some stuff together. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm loving that little rainbow coloured sheep over there. And he does kind of stick out amongst all the other ones. But anyway, um, so over this way I have continued expanding my uh, coastal path. And with the few jumps we should be able to get up here. Um, so I expanded on up uh, around here and up towards the uh, smeltery area. Um, I, I didn't really do a great deal. I just tried to uh, join up the actual path with the area. Um, I'm not sure how this. I'm not sure how much I like this being sort of flat across here. But I do like the pumpkins, and that's that's quite nice. Um, and then down in the actual area, um, I think I did a fair job with this. I put some nice glow, uh, glowstone and um, oh, what's the stuff called? Bla stained glass uh, in the hole. Uh, it creates a nice little pan. I'm not overly happy with how it has uh, joined up with, with the other glass underneath. Um, I don't know, it looks a little bit tacky, especially where we've got the uh, the string running through the glass there. So I might might even redo that at some point but it, it'll do for now um around the surround if you remember last time uh not last time if you remember just a couple of minutes ago um it was indeed uh oak planks and stuff and and that was no good that just made it look like you know you're supposed to carry on running up around here um but that that's that's all right you know i changed it for a lighter wood um i've got a nice little thing oh charles worthian's going to make a choice and he says harvest. Yeah, awesome. And almost immediately regrows. That's great. I love it. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, uh, this, this little um, beautification spot. Yeah, yeah, that's a real word. We'll go with that. I think that looks quite nice. Goes in with the general theme. And I particularly like the little eyes just kind of looking over the side. Uh, I finally figured out something to do with this little weird corner bit over here um the problem was being a too wide thing i couldn't even just like put a street lamp in or anything like that so i went for a hedge uh i think that looks kind of nice um yeah and i particularly i'm liking this uh this redstone on glowstone look um maybe not on top of the glowstone but using the redstone dot as as uh accent blocks if you want to call them that, yeah. As you can tell, I'm not happy with that choice of word, but we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, he's going to make another choice. Are you going to fall? Are you going to jump? He falls. Oh, well, obviously, we needed more sugar to be growing. Um, and in here, um, basically, I didn't want to do all the back area nicely, so we've got uh, nothing to see here move along. Um which is quite good, and I didn't bring a lever with me, so I can't show you the uh, magnificence of the door opening. Hang about a second, and I will get that sorted. Here we have this one. Now, if you put the lever anywhere around the door, it's not really going to work, because this door is being held closed by a signal. Uh, what you need to do is actually place it one block further away, and that will then, through the glories of redstone under here, turn the torch off back here um i should probably make this just this this tiny little area a bit bit nicer to look at rather than the dirt but yeah um there we go i think that pr project's finished um yeah all in all i, I th i'm quite proud of how I, I i did there um coming up next we're gonna push the coast coast road a little bit further around 
and actually work on this chicken machine that I've been banging on about forever. So yeah, I hope you will join me next time for that. And I'm going to sign off right now. Bye bye.